welcome to Bubble Bath Buffet, where we showcase local food and bath products in the tub. Today's episode is sponsored by Local Nano Brewery Revival Brewcade, which offers the highest quality and most unique selection of beers on tap brewed right below their arcade floor here in Calgary, Alberta. It's also sponsored by the Dapper Donut, which celebrates the unique process of crafting mini donuts to each customer's order. Crispy on the outside, fluffy and moist on the inside, then drizzled with your favorite toppings. It's also sponsored by Majestic Botanicals, which is a natural skincare cream made with all natural ingredients and with a subtle perfume to give you a scent that's not too overpowering. If that was not already enough, I have a guest in the tub. I have Loretta Love with me today. Hello, everybody. How are you doing? I'm doing really good. I'm okay. happy for the sunshine oh while we're in the tub. We are in Alberta, so this really depends on the weather. <laughs> I told you guys to wear your bikini and pack a tube just mm. in case. You never know in Alberta. Today, I'm so excited for this. I have not had this before. Oh, me neither. We are going to be eating some dapper donuts. Okay, they gave us three boxes. Oh, so many donuts. Are those Fruit Loops? Yes. We got Fruit Loops on these donuts. Mm -hmm. uh, we got some strawberries, berries, pineapple, chocolate sauce. We got Frankles. Mm -hmm. I don't even know what this one is. We should have got a list of what <laughs> they all are. Yes, um, they are located in Market Mall, and uh, thank you for picking those up today yeah, for us. Awesome. <laughs> Not in Chinook Mall. Yeah, they're in Market Not Mall. In Mall. We learned that today. <laughs> and we also have a milkshake. Is this strawberry uh, cinnamon sugar? Yeah, I think it's um, funnel cake. <laughs> mm. Mm. So fresh. We made them right now when I was putting them up. Oh, that's so nice of them. Thank you to Dapper Donuts. Thank you so mm. much. We got a little sip of this to cleanse the palate here. Oh yeah. Cheers. We got cheers, babe. Yes. Cheers. Mm. You gotta uh, catch me up with what you've been up to, cause like, you know, we used to see each other often. I know. Especially when there was a festival season, which is not a thing not anymore. Not a thing anymore, right? Poor Lonnie. This is this is our buddy Lonnie over here. He got to come out today with us, and he is actually feeling the no <laughs> festival season too. He's been in a closet all winter, so. <laughs> brought him out today to join oh, us. Thanks for joining us, Lonnie. Oh, thanks, Lonnie. He's our special guest as well. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, the pandemic has really been challenging for a lot of people. I think I've been lucky because I've been able to work from home during the pandemic. Good. So that's been really nice, but it also, like, because I have autoimmune issues, I have to be very careful. So I've been keeping my risk level, like, super low, which has been preventing me from, you know, doing things that other people are feeling a little bit safer doing. Mm. So, yeah probably didn't see me because you didn't come into my living room. <laughs> yes, <laughs> there was. It's a safe it space. Was. Yeah. Which has been kind of nice in the pandemic. It's been nice and not so nice being able to have that alone time. I know, mm -hmm. like, especially during a festival season, it's just go, go, go <laughs> all of the time and around people, tons of people. all the time, right? So, yeah. It's nice to kind of get back to self a little bit. For sure. So what have, what's been keeping you busy? Um, I've been painting a lot, actually. So Ooh. first lockdown came. Everyone's like, oh, I'm learning all these new skills. I'm baking bread and I'm baking. And I was like, <laughs> not doing anything. So first lockdown, no, no new skills. But second lockdown, <laughs> now we're about to go into third lockdown. Yeah. But during second, I actually picked up watercolor painting. And I was actually okay hey, So that it. one you brought, that yeah. you did that one? Yeah, I did that Aww. one. So my first one was actually a sloth. Mm, so I painted this watercolor sloth. Yep, he's in a frame. Mm. Um, and then, yeah, so my goal for 2021 is actually to complete 100 paintings this year. So right now, um, I'm at 38 paintings for the year. 
so far. So that's, that's incredible. my goal. You're going to be done 100 in no time. Yeah, it's so much fun. So I like it because it's really forgiving of a medium because if you mess up, you can just add water and kind of fix it. So true. And I've been watching some tutorials. So um, it helps that my partner is an artist as well. So it, oh. it gave me that inspiration. He gave me the watercolor paper, actually. So it got me started. And honestly, like, it's been an amazing therapeutic activity to do during the lockdown. Yes. So painting with Loretta coming soon. Yes, painting with me coming soon. <laughs> I have been kind of playing with the idea of restarting my Instagram to share my pictures of yeah. my artwork and then that might kind of turn into some people wanting to commission me to paint some pieces but mm -hmm. it's kind of up in the air right now so I find it's nice to I think something that happens when you try to make a hobby or a passion into something more into a way to get paid um, it no longer feels like a passion or a hobby it feels like a job a it job feels like work, or a chore right, right? yeah like if I were to just sit in a tub all day, every day for the rest of my life and get paid for it, it might not be fun anymore. But I'm joking because this is exactly what I want to do for the rest of my life. Mm. This is my next one. Dripping in the heat, but so am I. I love it. I'm so in love with this one right now. I'm mm. going to try a Fruit Loop one. Mm -hmm. I got to get that in my mouth. Mm. Mm. It's got lemon drip, lemon sauce on it. And yes, they're real fruit loops. Mm -hmm. mm. What do you see when the Pillsbury Doughboy bends over? <laughs> Donuts. <laughs> <laughs> you I got more jokes. where that came from. Yes. yes. So this has been great because I'm definitely going to keep these tubs back here. Yes. For all summer. Uh, now when ever anybody comes to visit me, this is where we will be hanging out moving forward. You can find us in the tub. Back at Taylor's yard. <laughs> Damn, girl. So, where do you think, uh, where do you think we're gonna be? Uh, this city's gonna go in the next year, and what was going on with, especially the pandemic. Like, I know it's been challenging for so many people. Yeah. I just want to say a message to everybody that might have been struggling with the pandemic: do not give up. Okay. <laughs> restaurants that we had um mm -hmm. oh, i gotta cover up the boobs here some of the restaurants that were supposed to participate in season two actually either have to close their doors permanently or you know right now you can have patios open yes but they don't have space for a patio or they haven't been able to get the permit for the patio so mm -hmm. they have no choice but to just shut their door so it's very important right now for people to still order from your favorite spots you can do curbside delivery curbside pickup mm. uh, pick, and, and try if you can to order directly from the restaurants um i don't even know actually i think dapper donuts is on skip the dishes or something but yeah or maybe uber eats too so yeah. check it out for sure i definitely recommend them they're so tasty so friendly it's awesome mm. to go pick it up they were making it by hand as they arrived so it shows how much love and you know um, work they put into each thing that they sell so yeah. it's definitely an important time to support local yes please mm -hmm. everybody um, is there any, any, anything that people can support you with right now or, you know? Um, not at this time. I think, um. Send her money, everybody. Yeah, just send me some money to Loretta <laughs> underscore. No, just kidding. <laughs> um, but my agency that I work for at Discovery House. So we're a women's shelter for women and children fleeing domestic violence. Um, and as you know, and I'm sure you've already heard too, like the statistics for domestic violence has increased so mm. much in the pandemic because being at home isn't always safe for a lot of people. Um, so if you feel called to make a donation to an agency that could use it, you can go to discoveryhouse.ca and you can donate right from the site there, even five or $10. It really makes a difference to the families that we provide housing and different mm. types of amenities to while they're living in our shelter, while they're getting back on their feet. So that is incredible. Do they take like physical donations? Like let's say, um, diapers or yes. clothing yes for yeah. sure there's a, on our website you can find out who to contact to find out what kind of donations we're accepting right now um and just yeah get in touch for sure and see if what you have um how the gift could use if you're not using it yourself so yes thank you so much for joining me thank you for sharing that uh everybody please support uh and thank you so much for joining me in, in bubble bath buffet yes, finally I love you so much. <laughs> yeah our first shoot for this was really at the very beginning of the pandemic so it's amazing like 13 months later it's still <laughs> right. a pandemic but 
we made it work. So we I'm made so it work. grateful for that and grateful to all the different sponsors that helped make this happen as well. So cheers to them too. Cheers, everybody. Dining in the top of strikers and unknown.